All right, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating a login form that allows you to log in or sign up. And when you log in or sign up, it will log you in afterwards and bring you to a login logged in page. Um, this app is going to have basic front end validation, and it's also going to be um, dynamic in the sense that right now it asks for your email. And when I click next, then that's going to disappear and the password form will come up. I'm going to go through this right now and show you what it is we're going to be doing, but I want to say we're going to be using Firebase in order to store user credentials. So you can actually use this uh, for your app if you want to. So we'll go through all of that in the next video, but this video is just going to be dedicated to showing and demonstrating what it is we're going to be building in this series. So here we're presented with a login screen. We don't have an account yet, so we can click this sign up for free. Here we'll go ahead and type in an email. Notice how the border is red because this is not a valid email yet. Now it's a valid email and I can click next. You confirm the email here. Notice how it's red because it does not match the email that you put in the previous input. As soon as it matches, it goes away and the next button is enabled. Click next. Here you can see the password requirements. As I'm typing, it's red because it does not meet the requirements. But as soon as the requirements are met, the red goes away and the next button is enabled. I can click next. We confirm the password. Notice how it's red until the password matches what you had in the previous input. You can click next and now we're officially signed up. So now I'm going to go back to the login page. Whoops. Now I'm going to go back to the login page and we're going to put in a the wrong email. So I'm going to say zack at port exe.commm so I put multiple M's and I'll just type in you know the password and I'll click next and we get an error that says there is no user record corresponding to this identifier so in other words there is no account with this email so we'll go back we have this back button and I'll remove these M's and I'll click next and now I'll just type in the wrong password so now it says the password is invalid or the user does not have a password. So in other words, incorrect password. So now I'll just type in the correct password and it successfully logs us in. So if you guys are ready, um, I'm going to be uploading one tutorial for the series every single week. So keep a lookout and um, let's get started.